Good evening, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. So we've made sure everything is in order. We've made sure everything is good to go. At this point, it's now just a case of kicking it off and starting. Which seems about as good a time as any. So I'm going to switch over to you and give a little recap as to where we are. So last night I decided that I, I need to start learning. Learning a lot better than what I have previously. So you'll see on the screen I've got two builds there. The Lightning Arrow and the SRS, the Summon Ranging Spirit. Hey, what's up, Maestro? So I realized with those two builds that I have got no real idea how the building really works, how leveling really works, how something is made effective and efficient. And that's what I'm trying to test right now. So the Lightning Arrow and the SRS build were basically following build guides with a massive amount of assistance from a viewer who's just joined, Maestro Chan. Spending a lot of divines on gear for me that I had no idea how it was created, why it was created, or what to focus on. And that was the goal of this build. So this build is completely random. If you watched the last night's stream, you would have seen that I bought every single gem that you can equip at level 1. Every single one. And my goal was simple. Why you say that, Maestro? What happened? What's it saying? I don't know why that is happening. I've updated it over here. Let me do this quickly. Now on my screen, my Twitch says, oh, it says Hyper Charles Unboxed. Hold on. Wait, let me see if I can't update it. Yeah. Uh, that one. Done. Okay, that should have updated now. Hopefully it's correct. And can you hear the game at all? For some reason, it's not showing through. You don't know you hear your own game. Okay, they may be going to hear double feedback at the moment. I need to touch something. No, the game sound is not coming through. Okay, everything is going horribly wrong. Now, why would that be? Desktop audio. Properties. Okay. Why is it doing that? I can hear the game, but it's not picking up the audio. Hold up. Okay, it's now picked up something. Let me just double check and make sure that's good. Go to random location. Okay, sound looks like it's better. Uh, let's go back to our nice watch. Okay, 
So now that that whole issue has been sorted out, we're going to do a short little recap of why the hell I'm here. So Masha, who's currently in chat, is basically the one who helped me get my tornado shot as well as my summon raging spirit build to where they are. And they are phenomenal. They are good. But I didn't learn anything about how to build a character. So, what I did last night, for those of you who didn't watch the stream, I bought every single skill gem that you can get for level 1. So, something that you can get from a level 1 character. And I specifically wanted to do that because I wanted to see what skill I can take, make somewhat viable to be able to run throughout the entire games. Specifically beat the 10 acts with it. And then potentially see how well it carries into maps. That was the goal. So I bought every single skill. I bought a whole bunch of weapons that had the right color slots and everything. Specifically so that I could test it. I even went with a Scion. Now I know Scions are notoriously difficult to try and build towards anything. But I specifically went to it with a Scion. Because a Scion is dead set square in the middle of everything. So hopefully with this, I can learn a lot and apply it to something later on. And the skill that we went with was Splitting Steel. I liked the way it looked. I liked the way it felt. Now comes the question, and I also wanted to use something that not everybody's using. So Freezing Pulse was out. Rolling Magma was out. Um, sparks and Orb of Storms was out. Uh, lightning Traps and all that, that was out. I wanted to use a spectral throw was out i wanted to use something that i personally have not seen a lot of people run or seen at all and i wanted to see if we can make it viable and that's the goal for right now so the thing about this skill is and that's what i'm trying to learn a bit more now is the thing about this skill is this thing says it does attack projectile oae sorry aoe and physical so I've been having a look whenever I upgrade. So the things I want to upgrade are obviously things that does projectile damage, physical damage, and that affects my attacks as well as my AoE. <clears throat> That's what I want to focus on. So right now on this, I have got charge to bleed as well as pierce support. And then I've got dash and a decoy totem just to draw some of the enemies away from me. And I'm specifically not using the... <clears throat> not using the holy flame totem because i don't want that to be doing the carry i want the damage to come from the skill that i chose i'll be honest it hasn't been the greatest it has been sufficing and that's about it So one of the reasons why I chose this over something else, for example, was the fact that when it hits, it splits into two additional targets, into two additional attacks, and it tracks. So I don't have to worry about being accurate with this. It'll always track to the closest target. The only problem is it only splits into two. And as you can see, single target damage ain't exactly the best in the world. And I'm hoping this is something that we are going to be able to correct later on with things like heralds or some kind of supports or potentially start branching into something else. It's not doing the most damage. It's like 51.6 DPS. It's not horrible. It's not great. But I want to see if there's something that I can learn from this, something that I can apply in my own way that makes a build viable. I think I've actually had this discussion with you in the past, Maestro. It's about... Fishing, teaching a man to fish. Right now, 
People have been providing me fish the entire time. I need to learn how to fish. This is where my biggest issue is because I do not have a lot of single target damage. That is something I have to rectify either by using another skill. That is not meta. Or make this viable of some kind. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. And Mr. Maestro. Why is your name orange all of a sudden? What made you special? So call amulet. I don't have anything for now, so I'll just use that for now. And then obviously mana. Good show. Iron ring. Currently got two iron rings. Okay, in case. So, one thing also, I don't want people, whoever's going to be viewing this, to see this as a tutorial. It really isn't. It's more so how my brain works and how I'm going to try and understand this. By all means, guidance is welcome. But I'm also not going to be speedrunning through all 10 acts. I want to live in and understand along the way. So, I'm going to potentially be overgrinding some areas, trying to level up, trying to be unnecessarily powerful for the area but i'm trying to apply a certain logic here and that logic is only going to be applied by taking it slow neither the time nor the place once the logic is there i can start applying the speed to it the tale of Bru faster attack support now this is it so currently i have got peer support the peer support i don't think is doing that much for me faster attacks would be beneficial because obviously i'm pumping it out but also adding certain elemental damages to this might work now the question is which one do i go at a cold damage do i go at it fire damage then we've got melee splash support this potentially would be really good but it doesn't work for splitting steel so that's useless this also might be good because it splits it into more projectiles so there's more aoe for this hmm. i want to try the lesser multiple projection support i'm just going to take that but then i also Want to have a look at what else there is. Totem. Uh, 
it might be interesting to have specifically for the decoy totem but i don't think if it will work no it doesn't work on the decoy it does work on the decoy totem might be interesting life trap support i'm gonna grab one of those mana forged arrows not gonna work maim support Last chain trap support. What does this do? Support that spells or attacks that use bows or wands. Nope, not using bow or wand. Ballista totem. Nope. Spell totem. Chance to flee. Nope. Additional accuracy. Stun. Knockback. Increased critical strikes. Life gain on hit. Added lightning damage. Maybe. Add it cold. I think I wanted added cold was to test it. Added fire was also to test it. And then melee splash doesn't work though. And then I've already got fast attack, so damage over time, increased skill effect. Okay, we're gonna have to test these things, but in order to do that Be well. let's go to my stash, let's drop this, go down. Like I said, I am potentially going to be wasting a lot of skills here. But this is specifically to be able to find out, does this work? There's a lot of trial and error happening right now. So, chance to bleed. Currently, I do 51 damage. If I take chance to bleed off, I drop to 44 higher. But if I put added fire damage on, it goes to 55. If I take off peer support, I'm 154. However, I've got a lesser amount of objections. It drops to 46. But I've got a lot more. So what happens if I do splitting steel, added fire, as well as added cold? Or do they cancel each other out? These are the kind of things I have to test right now. So this splits into a lot more. So I want to test that quickly. Okay, so that's better for crowd control and AoE. And the damage seems not too shit. However, if I switch that out for that, I get 64 damage. So now I've got... Can I not have but a moment's respite? This thing's being weird again. I'm being teleported backwards, even though I'm running forward. Okay, single target damage sucks. So let's do this. let's go back to lesser multiple support. Less damage will keep there. Chance to bleed will keep there. That's potentially something we can move on to later if we've got force loss. But right now, don't want it. Don't need it. However, I might want to just just level it in case. Single target damage is shit. Like, that's really shit. I'm definitely gonna have to find a way to get that damage up. And that's not gonna be with less of multiple projection. I'll put chance to bleed on there. Bathroom pierce support on there. It's on 55 and it jumps between a couple of things. do that all three of them are on so that means i have got fire damage as well as physical damage as well as cold damage as well as lightning damage i think that's the best option 
this is what guess is at this point. Good either. I think there's something we can do with this. I just need to find the right combination of things to be able to make this decent. Okay, I honestly don't think this is horrible. It's just the combination of what's going to make this build somewhat viable. That damage is not bad. I have nothing more to do. Can I not have but a moment's respite? Is it as good as other things that you can choose when you start off? Definitely not, but we have to learn. We have to test it. We have to see how far we can take this build. And I think a nice little way that's going to test it is the Warden. Because I've got a funny feeling the Warden's going to fuck my shit up. Now because this is doing both physical and projectile damage, I should be trying to spec into both physical and projectile damage. That's only what makes sense in my head. So for example, currently it does... No. So currently it does 72.9 DPS. If I select that... And I said apply. 75.5, so it's gone up. It's now about getting those big increases of damage. You see, while there is AoE, the AoE ain't all that. It jumps between three targets and that's it. And that's potentially going to get my ass killed in the wrong situation. See, that's not bad. It's just, I know that that's not how on the game stays. And once again, in this, I'm not looking for any specific goal. I'm not looking for clearing speed. I'm not looking for anything. I'm looking just for something that is viable. Something that you can take through the acts. So, yes, it might not have the clear speed of something else. It might not have the strength of something else. It's more just so. Can somebody who has got zero experience build something? It can be both somewhat fun and actually useful. to see if there isn't something that I can apply like some kind of curse or debuff that makes physical damage more something like mark on hit for the bows but I don't know if that works for um, physical because technically this is still projectile damage can I not have but a moment's respite So 
This should be the one to determine if there's going to be a big jump. So at 77.8, this should be a 16% increase to overall damage. So if we apply that, it jumps to 84. That's decent. Now, I'm not going to go any further than that because at this point, I'm going to come down this way so I can get increased mana, increased attack speed. I don't know if I want to go the brutal totems. Maestro, is any of this making sense to you, what I'm saying? Just against anything past blue and it struggles. The wonder child. I saw you perform for Dominus today. Now I can imagine a build like this might benefit from a more specialized character. So a hybrid of strength and dex, so I think that's a hybrid of strength and dex. That's a Templar, right? Or is that the the rogue? I think the duelist is intelligence and strength. No, oh, fuck me, I can't remember. She might benefit more from a different class on this build, but I specifically chose the sign because it's square in the center with everything else. on this is really shit. The shabby joker. Primitive staff, pet at best. I think that's one of the biggest issues. I don't have the knowledge to be able to or see if this is going to be a decent build or not. For me, it's literally going to be a case of trial and error and see at what point I start falling off. From what I can tell now, I think this build is going to start falling off very quickly. It might require either the same skills with a different class, or it's going to have to be a complete redo and there's a reason why nobody uses this. free of his own flame dash blink arrow leap both flame dash i want to use i've got the gem i just don't have the intelligence for it 
What's with the ring stick? Leaf slam, blink arrow. Yeah, fuck it, I don't want any of these. I'm just gonna take the ring step. Stay sharp out there. The sun. And what has she got? Okay, so precision. Aura, critical, spallery, AoE. Don't think that clarity. I can't use. I would love to, but I don't have the mana, the intelligence for it. So that's going to be a problem. Precision, vitality, intimidating, taunting about enemies to attack the user. Nope, don't want that. I don't want more attention on me. Leaf slam, flicker strike. What's flicker strike? Blink arrow. Creating a bone archer corpse that where it lands. Body swap, siphoning trap. That might be interesting, but that's gonna lose. Make little withering step. Is there anything that does? Debuff. Play more. Bear trap. Contagion. Frost bomb. Blight. Could have guessed. Nothing over there. Siphoning trap with the ring step. Mind support. Void manipulation. Mem support. Unbound elements. What's unbound elements? Creatures, ailments, okay, I don't cause ailments. What the fuck does that thing do? And then there's mana forged. This is the thing. Dual strike, double strike, spectral throw, rust blades cleave, rolling magma, fireball spark, ice shot, split arrow, burning arrow, explosive trap, caustic arrow, smite, perforate. Which one's perforate and which one's ground slam? I'm sure there was a ground slam on you. Perforate, caustic arrow, purifying flame. Oh, no, man. Have I, do? I can't remember which that one is. I want to see what that looks like quickly. Frost blink. Flame dash. Slam. Perforate. Ruthless support. Farewell. Like I said, at this point, there's going to be a lot of trial and error, and there's a good chance that randomly throughout the run, I decide, nope, that's it, this ain't going to work, we have to switch to something else. So for example now, I want to see this pure flying flame, it's just the one that I think it is. Yes, I don't like that one. This is perforate, what does perforate do again? That's that one. This can get changed with the uh, change of stance, I think it's... Ends of time and something else. Gives you more AoE. Withering step. What does this do? I don't know what that does. Can I not have but a moment's respite? I 
think I just need to stick with it. See if we can't make this viable in some way. But I need to start finding stuff that's going to cause debuffs, going to increase my AoE, and going to increase my projectiles, and then obviously damage as well. Now, I don't know if I want to go in the route of elemental ailments, or if I want to do something else for critical strike or chance to bleed. I don't know what's going to be based on this, but this is now when it comes down to child and error. So added fire damage, if I take this off, that automatically drops me down to 71. If I put on chance to bleed, it's 78. So added fire damage on a base is already much better. But I don't know if it's going to be the best thing to do. And that's just maximum life. Large life flask. Let's just grab that. I had to potentially start finding something that's going to cause... Gee, there my damage didn't feel... Actually, this shit. But there is a chance. That is one of the nice things. I do get quite a little bit of distance on this. So I've got quite a bit of range to this. The damage doesn't seem shit, so... Let's ride this out and see how well it works. If you're ever in Sarn... See, that's not bad. Pulling the aggro away from me, but so it's it's quite nice. That doesn't look horrible. I'm gonna stick with this. Let's see what we can do to make this pretty decent. Maestro, what's your thoughts? I'm currently slow as old balls. That damage ain't shit, but it ain't great. And now we need to start thinking. We're gonna come this way to strength to strength. Strength damage bonus applies to projectile attack damage as well as melee damage. I can only see that being a benefit. Totem is keeping my ass alive quite a bit. Because it's pulling all the aggro. So it might be a nice little safe way. A gateway. To keep my ass together. Speed, where is this dude? Oh no, I just can't use that due to intelligence. I'm stupid. you 
not dying. Obviously, with that target having some kind of damage output, it's not the worst thing I've ever done. See, that's not shit. It's not completely shit, but I don't know. One of those things that I'm gonna have to just keep the testing. Between life and death is crumbling. Can I not have for a moment's respite? This is where my biggest issue is. Packs don't do enemies like this. I'm just not doing enough damage to work them out quickly. My veil dwells. So now here is the big question. Be well. Is it shit because Is it shit because of the class, or is it shit because of what it is? And that's the thing I need to find out. Um, which class is... Duelist excels in both strength and dexterity skills. Like the swords and axes. Okay, I'm gonna test that theory over here. Uh, what level is this freaking thing at already? Spinning steel. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go stash. I'm gonna unequip everything. You're gonna have to bear with me, because once again. This is a test. Let's put all of this shit away. Um, let's go here. Put all of that shit away. And we are going to go quit the character selection. So you're going to jump over to my lightning arrow. I'm going to go to this chain. Oh, shit, I forgot what the thing's name was now. Come on, there's no way. I already forgot what it is. Splitting error, I think. Uh, splitting something. Splitting steel. I'll grab that. Detonate, dead, repost, puncture, bear trap, and a weapon. open. And then I potentially want to have a look at this as well. It was a uh, ground slam. Cleave, glacial hammer, heavy strike, molten strike, smite. Was it smite? No. Uh, shield crash, no. Wasn't anything else. And then. There was another one that was green. Double strike, dual strike, eye shot, split arrow. I think it was Viper Strike. No, it wasn't Viper Strike. Burning arrow, ethereal knife, spectral throw, cover, explosive trap, cobra lash. That was the other one that I wanted to test. Diamond tide wait for no man. Yeah, let's go take these quickly. Dump this in over here. Along with those. And then character selection. Great new. Just standard. Nothing special. You were born to be swift and strong. What did you do with your gifts, duelist? You squandered them on self-indulgence. Sin has led you here. Your path inked in the blood. Okay. So we're gonna have to quickly fight your luck again. Challenge me here. Hey, what's up, Master? What do you mean, what's up? No, um, I'm now trying to do the thing where I can. Uh, what I mentioned was the um, trying to build a 
We're trying to create the build off of a obscure skill. So I've got some skills that I want to try out. Oh, come on. This needs to go off. Just give me a second. I'm getting out. My spirit is spent. Dead yet. Okay, so um, I should stuff back to the duelist because I'm trying to create a build. I think we mentioned you and I discussed this last time. I'm trying to create a build that is not supported by a, a, a build guide, that is not a meta build. So it's no freezing pulse, no rolling magma, no um, sparks and um, orb of storms, no traps, no nothing. It is something completely off brand. Now I'm trying to see if I can make it viable without getting a metric fuck ton of support of, like you did last time, of building me gear to make the class good. I want to see, with the knowledge that I have and the bases that I, what I know and what I can read and what I can see, can I make something viable? Something like that, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> Take care. A dash is an eye. However, I did apply one rule. I'm not going to use any skill obtained anywhere else besides one of the skills that are level one obtainable. So it has to be one of the skills that you can obtain from one of the starting classes, the thing that you're obtaining here. So, for example, let me just sell off this shit, actually. I need to wear one of these. Uh, probably gonna have to wear that one and we'll probably have to carry that one for now and we'll put the life damage generation on what and sell everything you? else goodbye so for example the idea that i had is i think it was one of these three I like the look of one of these three. Splitting Steel, Ground Slam, and Cobra Lash. The Ground Slam is a little bit more, okay, I've seen people use it, but Splitting Steel and Cobra Lash, I personally, oh, okay, let me try to turn the volume up. Is that better? Is it cutting out or is it just very quiet or is this better? Fine work with Hillock. Mm, cleave, Molten Strike, Galvic Arrow. See, I don't want any one of these things. Okay, cool. But it's better now, so that's good. Um... So let's grab this for example. I uh, know I don't want to use double strike and I know it's hard to bleed. Yeah, maybe. Farewell. So I'm just going to the coast quickly just to give you an idea of what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to take one of these skills. Something like splitting steel. Mm, that has to be on something else. Never mind. That has to be on one of those. And then I can't have that before. So that is what I was running with last time. But I think I had the wrong class for it. However, I was also leaning in towards something like uh, Cobra Lash. I don't know what it does. And then, obviously, we've got Ground Slam, which I just like the look of, which I need a different weapon for. Give me a second. Greetings. So, Ground Slam, I need a Scepter, Staff, or Unarmed. Let's just grab a Scepter. Okay, I can't carry any Scepters right now. Yeah, let's grab this. That will work, why not? Put Ground Slam into that. And what else would I have to do? 
Spitting steel requires a sword or an axe. Let's grab an axe. Put that in over there. Chance to bleed. And then perforate is something I've also wanted to try. And then cobra lash. But cobra lash has to go into a dagger or a claw. And I think I like the look of the dagger last time. Uh, do I have a dagger here anyway? I don't have a label for it. That works. Blush. Dagger. Mm, take that out. Put that over there. Stay sharp out there. So it's one of these that I want to try. So it's either going to be a nice big ground slam. Or it's going to be perforate. But I know perforate becomes better when you've got the sand stance or something like that, which gives you bigger AOE. Not really wanting to do perforate, but if I have to, I can. Or this, because I know that this also bounces between enemies. And I like the fact of it chaining to different enemies. Or, of course... The splitting steel. Now, I chose splitting steel originally on a scion, but I think something that leans more towards strength and dex, like a duelist, would do better for this. So now it's a case of figuring out which one I want to go with. And I am between two minds. I either want to go gloss. I either want to go with Cobra Lash. Which will look like... Just because it bounces between the enemies. Which is kind of cool. And could potentially be somewhat decent. Or I want to go with... Ground Slam. Which is... Self-explanatory. And I think, because I've seen Ground Slam once, I think the other one is actually the goal that I want to go for. Now, this does 20 DPS base. This does 16.4 DPS base. The Perforate does like 4, so that's shit. I don't want to use that. And that does 10. I don't want to use that either. So I want to take this skill, Cobra Lash, and see what I can do with it. Will it work? Okay, so there is a build for it. So, obviously, I'm not going to be the first person doing this. There are probably going to be builds out there, but I just want to see, with the knowledge that I've got, can I make this viable? Okay, no, fair enough. I mean, I, if you look hard enough, there probably is a build for every single skill that exists. A viable build. But I want to run something that is not meta and that I made powerful with the knowledge that I've got. It's either going to work or it's not going to work. Probably not, but I want to see if everything that I've learned from you, if everything I've learned from playing the game, that kind of stuff, if it became viable without being given OP gear, like what happened with the Tornado Era. Which, by the way, I am thankful for. I haven't deleted that character. I am holding on to that shit. And I will be playing that more. It's just, for now, I want to see, can I try something else? It does, however, mean that things are going to be a bit slow while I try and figure all this out. Especially like now. I played a little bit of it last night, tested it, played a little bit of it tonight, didn't like it, switched over to Duelist. So, there's a possibility that before we reach Act 10 with a decided build, it might change two or three times. Depending on whether it is decent or not. And I think like now, we're going to go with this. Now, this skill is attack, projectile, chaos. So I know that everything I need to focus on is attack, projectile, and chaos. So, does the skill tree for this character allow for that? So, increased physical damage. So, that is going to be pointless for me. So, it might mean that this build might be better with something like the Huntress. Because the Huntress actually starts off with the projectile increased damage, which is what this focuses on. So would it be better for me to switch over to Huntress and not use a bow? 
That's the kind of things I'm trying to understand. And that is also why I'm trying to get everybody to in engage so that I can see, okay, what can I learn from this? Would it be a good idea? Should I switch over? Shouldn't I switch over? Should I stay with what it is? Because in my mind, if I have a look at the duel list, the duel list, yes, gives increased accuracy and speed, increased attack, but it doesn't touch on projectile damage anyway. All the damage is physical. And from what I can see, Cobra Lash doesn't do physical damage. So it might mean that I need to switch over. I shall not help you. No, no, no. I want guidance in the form of that's not quite how it works or yes, that's how it works. Not guidance as in what you've done in the past for me. You build me a piece of armor that cost you like 30 divides. <laughs> Cobblers converts physical damage to damage. So more fizz equals more chaos. Okay, well then I'm staying with what I've currently got. What little help I Just gonna get rid of everything else. Yes, that's fine. Get rid of everything because I'm not keeping any of these. God hasn't abandoned us. Uh, I just want to grab a few of these. for each remaining chain three times 60 percent physical damage converts to chaos damage yeah you are right 40 percent charge to poison on hit 60 percent of physical yeah so if we do this currently it does 16.4 will there be an increase 17.4 so there was an increase. So now it's a case of making it viable. With guidance from others, but without being given OP gear. My goal is with something like this that bounces between the targets. Hopefully something that is later on. That I can either increase the amount that it bounces. Or there can be um, more projectiles that bounce. So maybe like something like Onslaught support. Or um, no, not Onslaught. Um, volley support or stuff like that, you know. This is 100% going to be a trial and error for my side. It's either going to work or it's not. But yeah. Oh, and I don't know if you noticed. We are now on 9 out of the 10 followers. So we have been growing slowly but surely. One more follower. Oh, it's all support, yeah. So, one more follower and we met our target, and then we can move on to the next one. It seems this new arena suits me. Oh, come on. No, oh, shit, I do not think it was up with you already.
definitely gonna want that because that's also basically gonna give us a nice little boost and that's gonna to give us critical strike plus one to socket at gems nice and increase critical strike chance not bad yeah we're slowly but surely getting it but slowly but surely I think the pressure I was putting on myself for the channel to grow was unnecessary. I mean, yes, I want the channel to grow. Yes, I would love to be able to get to the point where we've got quite a couple of viewers and all that kind of stuff in, but... It's going to be systematic growth. And there has been systemic growth. I did a quick calculation, and it goes to... And it speaks to... Um, how long I've been streaming and how many followers I've got so far. So I had a look. I have uploaded 18, 19 videos. So that means I have been streaming for 18 days. So to speak. I've got 9 followers. So that means there has been 1 follower every 2 days. While absolutely pathetic for bigger channels. For me, that's a, that's a decent number. And or soccer called James, yeah. Soccer at Cold James, yeah. Otherwise, how's things been going with you? I haven't actually seen you in the streams for the last couple of days now. I know I haven't been playing Park of Exile, but... Have you been at work? Or just not interested in the other games I play? Oh, that's awesome, man. Still alive. Have you done any streams since? Farewell. I'd almost stop for Okay, now what do we want for this? Ruthless support. Chance to poison support. Pierce support. Momentum support. Volley support. Volley support might potentially be good for this. Yes, I lose 12%. Less projectile damage. And Mirage Archer won't work. Ancestral Call doesn't work. Your support does work. You know, I want to try this. I want to try Wally support. Let's see if it potentially works. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go purchase there. What other support is there? Chance to bleed. Uh, momentum. Pierce would be counterproductive. Exactly. So definitely not going to take Pierce. Exactly. So for now, I'm just going to go chance to poison. Just to have something on it. But I will be putting on the volley support once I've got the right level. Which should be like in two seconds. Because I can't use my quick flask. Quick silver flask either. So... But I'm like right on the edge of level 3, so let's quickly kill a couple of things, get those levels. My spirit is spent. Okay, so first things first, let's switch that over and let's see. That could potentially be quite nice. <laughs> I will try my best. Wait, hold on. Only support. Are they piercing? They aren't bouncing. Uh, 
Oh no, they are bouncing. Physical damage. Physical damage is nice because that once again, yeah, that speaks to how much is converted. I'm interested in that, and I can now finally use the Quicksilver Flask. Yeah, that's true. And now that's the that's the point I want to go for. Do I want to use one singular skill towards both clearing as well as single target damage and switch out something like? Um, stupid example chance to poison and um volley support when it's needed or do i want to have a completely separate skill for single target damage mm. i'm just going to go with pure damage at this point top out of the tree thanks appreciate it Oh no, that's for sure. I know it's a percentage-based game, and a percentage-based game on small numbers isn't massively increased. That's not horrible. I think that might be more effective for what I'm doing because I'm burning through mana quite easily. So 20% increase to mana regeneration might just be better for the build that I'm running right now. My spirits are spent. And do I want to go increase the attack speed? Maybe. I definitely want to get to the center point, so I might come around here through to that, get top and bottom, and then start working my way up to towards the chaos damage. Don't know. Let's see if that is going to kill me. That single target damage is shit. You die rather well. It's amazing how underwhelming it is in the very beginning. But it's like I hope it's only overwhelming underwhelming in the beginning. And then it's something that will scale up later quite nicely. But then again, no fucking idea. is shit like that is beyond shit Damn 
Which is really shit. Like, really, really shit. available. Let's try and finish this goal. Nope, didn't think so. The damage, the single talk damage is just too shit. It's just too horrible. I might need to actually just think about forgetting the volley support. Because that's 32 damage. That's 25 damage. It just doesn't seem like a lot, but it must make a difference. that and then into maximum mana into maximum life uh, and then we need to start moving our way up god damn it where did you say it was how the chaos damage nodes on the top right of the tree like up this way so there's chaos over there there's some chaos there physical damage and chaos is over there what class is that? Have I potentially got the wrong class here? For this build. Shadow would be the best. I would go Assassin Trickster or Pathfinder for Chaos Damage build. Especially if I want to run something like this. Got you. So that's level 3. I think it might be better just to do that. Once again, coming down to the fact where I'm going to have to potentially restart this a couple of times. So... Cobra Lash. I'll just take that. Just dump this over here. I'll just use some shitty starting skill for now. Until I reach level whopping three. Standard. You were born with Shadow. Of body and sharpness of mind. How have you paid for these gifts? With innocent blood. Yours is a predatory profession. The business of butchery. Like yeah, where's this on the skill tree? Yeah, this instantly goes into chaos damage, physical damage. Yeah. You see, this is why the knowledge of those around you is so important. Is it possible to murder someone who's already dead? Okay. You see, and this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to be able to get to the point where, yes, I'm going to potentially have to restart quite a couple of times, but I'm going to actually be learning. Like, I've twice started now and twice had the wrong class. Now that I've got the right class, okay, cool. Step one. That's something we've already figured out.
So, in general, while the class is not that important, the class can make life a lot easier. Get that. Just run that for double. Exactly. 100%. And that's the process. It's the process of breaking down. First seeing what skills exist. Because one of the biggest things for me, I remember when this game started, was like... Besides when you're following a, a, a build guide, is like, what fucking skill am I going to use? I'm not going to sell that yet, because that might be movement. Ignore that. Fine work with so, explosive trap, ethereal knives, and cobra lash. Cobra lash is exactly what I want. So, we're going to give it a viper strike. We're going to put that on. Charge to support is fine. And that's already on a dagger. So, it's everything I need and all want. And we're going to go straight into. That's just a base increase of damage. So, we definitely going to go to increase physical damage as well as chaos damage. Down at the slaughterhouse. Yes, that's what this place smells like. This could potentially be decent. Potentially. Maybe. Maybe not. So without all the beautiful knowledge that you've got, Mr. Uh, Maestro, do you think a, bu a bolt like this is something that can be made viable? damage physical damage we're just gonna keep going that way it may feel real to play but it can definitely be viable that's what i want something obscure something that could potentially be very fun very powerful but different and don't worry i have not forgotten about the righteous fire build we are still definitely gonna do that But in the same breath, I am trying to diversify the channel quite a bit more. So I am trying to spread into other games. But the main focus for now is still going to be part of Exile. So for clearing speed, the volley support is... Nice, but I think I'm gonna forgo it because the loss in damage is just too much. And I mean, because it bounces between enemies, this does pretty decent for clearing. 
That's my opinion. I could be wrong. I think the damage loss is just too much. Is that a skill gem or is that a ascendancy? Neither it's in the skill tree. Oh, well, fuck me then. Well, then that's something we definitely gotta work towards. Because if we can get the projectile upgrade without the damage loss, that could be very nice. Once again, we're now just gonna go into chaos damage and physical damage. I just want to grab a quick silver flask and potentially a support skill and then come back. I'd almost stop. Quick silver flask for sure. Swift assembly is useless, I'm not going to be using it. Elemental perforation. Charge to free shock and ignite. I mean, having the ailments along with the chaos damage could be decent. Peer support, useless, we don't want it. Momentum support. Eh. Bolly support, we're not going to use. Spell cascade and infused. So, elemental perforation could be good. Yes, no, maybe. Don't know. God hasn't so. Got a job. Stay sharp out there. So first things first, let's do that. Increase movement speed. Hell yes. Uh, not going to worry about any of that right now. I'm just going to replace the mana. True. Life per second. I'm going to take this quickly. Increase that. Like I said, right now there's going to be some dumb things that I do, but that's just mainly because I want to test some shit. So I don't want that, I want that. So we can put the helmet on, move that over, move that over, and have that active. So now I've got... Oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm not doing any elemental damage. However, this has got a 20% chance to free shock and ignite. So maybe. Is there flat damage increase? That's 35. That doesn't do anything. Yes. And what was that? Uh, Viper strike. Yep. No one. Farewell. What little help I can. I have any kind of that shit. No. That's after this. Okay, let's see how this goes.
every death I live a little bit more. Shank, simple rope. Oh, this isn't looking bad. Spike, spike. This is not looking bad at all. Let's go to the fatal pool. Let's see if this is any better than what it was last time. Yield Spectre. Not using the duelist and actually using a class that's meant for it. That single target damage though sucks. Well, that's fortunate. Fortunate? Fortunate? What the fuck is fortunate? That's flat damage, 14% increased damage. That's going to benefit me regardless. But I want to go into this, so it's increased attack speed, cost speed, dexterity, and intelligence. Awesome. Increased physical damage, because physical damage converts to chaos damage. So that's decent. Obviously, there's flat out increased damage over time, so that means the chaos damage is going to do better. So it's going to be a good idea to start spreading out into this tree, if I'm not mistaken. Increased mana, gain 10 mana per enemy is not bad. And then gaining the life, so those two are important as well. Chaos damage, chaos resistance. Chaos resistance I'm not worried about, but the chaos damage over time multiply is decent. And then obviously dagger ailments. Um, daggers increase damage with ailments. Does chaos damage count as an ailment? I think it does, right? Poison is an ailment. Okay, nice. And chaos damage is poison damage, correct? That was already better than last time. Now the first gloves. What are these gloves saying? Um, Asian rating would generate 5 health. Not for now, that's fine. The boots I'm not going to touch because movement speed, so. I ain't beating that. And then the fist. Hold on to that for now. I do like that, that I can focus on the main target and everything else around it dies as well. I need more yeah, it's done. Now I know there's no point in doing the, the fated pool, but... 
gets a free passive refund, so. It'll get even better with Sniper's Mark. I was actually wondering if... Yeah, because Sniper's Mark is good for um, any kind of archer build. So, this being projectile damage, I can imagine that it's going to be decent as well. It's true, it's like you said, you've step one, find the skill, step two, determine the class, step three, start building the now that you start compounding on top of that build. So bear trap, all the stones, repost, contagion, detonate dead. Now something like contagion, this could be something that could be a good supporter to what I'm already using, correct? And then we're just going to use not. Why not? Wouldn't it be place contagion? It already poisons them. And then having the damage output of the, um, the Cobra Slash, wouldn't that just compound on top of it? It's all good to use. But I was more thinking of using it where it's... It's not just the one circle where it pops out those three circles. I don't I can't remember if that's a volley or if that's something else. It's more so just to apply a debuff to a big group of enemies. Get contagion damage onto the big group of enemies and then Yeah, I suppose. I wanna try it though. But you're probably gonna be right. And then obviously I want Dash. A necromancer. Let's move that to there, move that to there. Greeting. Just sell everything else. Nope, don't want to sell that or that. I want to take that. Accept. That goes there. Forgot that I did not have body armor. I think I was trying to keep myself as light as possible. But yeah. Yeah, it's gone now. <laughs> just throw that, and then throw that on. I just want to test and see if it's actually as... Just rock that for now. And that's armor, which slows me down. The very thing you just mentioned. Need to chain mail vest. Is that armor? Yes, it's armor. I will find another chest piece. I am slow, I am slow, I am slow. Maximum life, that's a good thing to have. And then go into attack speed, cost speed, dexterity and intelligence.
Doesn't seem too bad as a sporting skill. What do you think? The contagion. It's an asshole. Apply over everything. Especially if there's a big group. Best, that's going to be armor, which I don't want. It's plate armor, that's also going to be slow. I'm just going to get that, and then we're going to keep moving on. Okay, now from here, where do we want to go? Uh, increased physical damage and chaos damage over time. Let's go that way first. I mean, that doesn't seem shit, right? Like, I understand on a basis why it's awkward to use, but I mean, it doesn't seem like it's coming across too shit. Single target damage is still... Single target damage is still struggling a bit. I don't want any of that stuff actually. I definitely. See, I keep having random stragglers popping in. Four views, two views, four views, two views. Four views, three views. <laughs> and I can basically put the totems later on. Okay.
just need a moment to catch my breath. Oh, come on, you could have made that. Let's, let's take the rogue. Is the rogue gonna be any good for me? Energy shield, maximum life, core resistance, lightning resistance. That shield. That's. It's not even a. It's not even a debatable topic. It's gonna be the best option for me. Dump this. Dump that. Don't need it. Lightning tendrils. Don't want it. Okay, so increase critical strike and physical damage. Or move towards those attacks with one-handed weapons, still 30% increased damage with elements. 8% increased attack speed with one-handed weapons and 20% increased damage with one-handed weapons. That is a no-brainer, so we're going to work towards that. Which should be a decent increase, so that's 54. 58. Onto the center, sleight of hand, and then obviously we want the chaos damage at the bottom as well. And then moving on to increase Dale's damage, movement speed, dexterity, and physical damage. That makes sense in my head. No, I'm definitely going that way. Like, I'm going to be um, going for these bottom ones as well. Getting this over time, getting these ones as well. You managed to kill a great. Right now, I wanted to go for this. 8% increase with one-handed weapons and 20% increase damage. Or it might be better to go for this and then increase damage over time and skill effect duration. So I better do that and then the next two levels just grab the two big nodes. The tier before. Are you talking about this one? The attack speed, cost speed. Yeah, because my plan was to do that. I can always refund that top one, the physical damage. But isn't it what we said that the physical damage gets converted into chaos damage? So wouldn't it be that the more physical damage I've got, the more chaos damage I get as well? So something like physical damage as well as damage over time is something that I want to increase. That's the way I understood it. Or have I completely misunderstood that? to 6 physical damage and 18 to 29 chaos damage. So chaos damage is where we want to focus. Okay. So what I can do is I can use one of my refund points. Oh no, you know, I'm not going to waste a refund. I'm going to leave that there for now and then I'm just going to work my way around the bottom. Still alive, are we? Farewell.
need a moment to catch my breath. So that actually didn't do too bad, did you? I'm already sitting here. <laughs> You're already sitting there thinking about how in-game gear is going to be good. You see, you've got the knowledge to be able to plan that far ahead. You've got the knowledge to be able to say, okay, A, B, and C works. D doesn't, E doesn't, however, if we change B a lot, but a little bit, we can maybe make D work a bit better. You've got that fundamental base knowledge, that baseline to be able to say yes or no, I don't. And that's what I'm trying to build up right now. I'm trying to build up that baseline to be able to say, okay, this is going to rock, this is going to suck. Currently, I don't have that, which is what I'm trying to figure out in this build. Can I take something relatively simple and make something good out of it? You've already decided on body armor and the Cobra Lash links. You see, that's insane. I want to get to the point where I've got that knowledge. So good at this, I spell See, that's the thing. Critical or damage over time? Damage over time is exactly that. It's damage over time, meaning that something, especially if it's got a big health pool, can still do quite a lot of damage to you if you aren't careful in the time that it is taking damage. Crit, however, is a instant percentage damage which is either going to be equal to or higher than the health of the enemy that you're fighting or it is going to be lesser than if it is lesser than it's not an instant kill obviously multiple hits can stack meaning it can do so i think personally crit would be the best way to go however everything i'm building right now is damage over time so there will have to be a massive respec later on down the line is what my brain's telling me.
Exactly. Okay, so this definitely gonna have to be a massive respect later on. But now the question is, here's when my brain comes in. At what point does that respect happen? That's the kind of stuff that I can't figure out on my own yet. Like, at what point does... At what point do you do the switch over? Or is it good to try and run that straight off the bat from the very beginning? Is that even an option? Is that a possibility? Usually around level 68. Okay. for me give me Hana no don't want that it's worse than what I said a little bit better than what I currently got but I definitely not. I've already got that Let's just line up all of this shit again. No, I'm not gonna fuck with that shit right now. The Opalus prison's a child's playhouse compared to this. They sure don't make them like they used to. There's a fire. Stay sharp out there. The tail of good. Okay, so now we've got fast attacks, which does support added cold damage, which could support. A chance to poison is what I'm currently doing, so I want to stick with that. Lesser multiple projections? No, I don't want that, because that's a less projectile damage. Void manipulation. So, supported skills deal no elemental damage, however, we get 20% more chaos damage. That might be nice on Contagion. I don't think that would be nice on Cobra, though it might. So what's better? Chance to poison, which is only a percentage based chance, or 20% more chaos damage, void manipulation. So as we stand, it's 49 DPS, and if we switch over to this, it's 57. You see, I was thinking of that as well, because, and what I could potentially do is get a second one, so that's contagion. Just imagine, do that and do that, and it will support that as well. So now, especially if I'm stacking it just for right now, I know that contagion is not going to be something we use later on. It's not, I'm not planning on building around it. It's just it's a good thing for now. But that void manipulation, I think, would be phenomenally good on this because it deals 20% more chaos damage so I get no other element so anything in regards to elemental damage is out it's gone so that means something like elemental um, proliferation should be gone I shouldn't be using that in any form or way however it 
a 3% increase duration on elemental ailments on enemies. I think I asked this question like maybe 10 seconds ago. The chaos damage. Does that count towards elemental ailments? Or is the elemental more specifically fire, ice, lightning? So it's fire, ice, and lightning. So that elemental profilation. Chaos is not elemental. So this skill is completely useless for me. Specifically now the fact that I've got void manipulation on there. Okay. So we get rid of that. Now, what can we put in its place? Something like efficacy support could be good because it's got 15% more. DOT and skill duration. Uh, deadly ailments. I don't have deadly ailments yet. Unbound. 35% increased duration of ailments inflicted with supported. Okay, so ailments covers chaos. Elements covers fire, lightning, um, frost, right? That could be good. So let's grab that. But I also want to have a look at potentially this, the efficacy support. Those two I don't want any further. God hasn't abandoned us. Ailments cover ignite, chill, freeze, shock, and poison. Okay, so that is the so the ailments are what you get from the elements normally. Like if you got fire element you get ignite if you've got the frozen element you get chill and freeze if you've got lightning you get shock if you've got um chaos you get poison i'm with you now the question is unbound element thank you i appreciate that master so unbound elements 35 percent increased duration of ailment afflicted with supported skills so, chaos damage, lingering effects, yeah. This, however, has got 15% more damage over time. Supported skills have 15% increased skill effect duration. So if we just move here, it's 57. So if we put efficacy, it doesn't do anything to the damage, which makes sense. Unbound elements doesn't do anything to the damage because that's something that will happen over time. work on contagion okay i don't have a slot for contagion right now the generation is called coprolash it's not oh you see i'm not paying attention to the gym i should have just read that thank you very much that is something i need to keep looking out for because yeah coprolash is attack projectile and chaos um efficacy support is support and duration Contagion is spell, AoE, duration, and chaos. You're right, good sir. Thank you very much. So we're going to keep hold of that. And we're going to potentially see. I'll try to link it up later on so that I can get this. So avoid manipulation, potentially. I need a blue, blue, green to be able to make that work for contagion. And then we'll keep that the way it is.
Just need a moment to catch my breath. Single top of damage, he's still shitty as fuck, though. So now question, something like this, the sleight of hand, attacks with one-handed weapons deal 30% more increased damage on ailments, that's exactly what we want because that's poison, it's lingering effects, increased uh, attack speed with one-handed weapons and increased damage with one-handed weapons, that is something we definitely want, right? Especially because of that 30% um, increased damage to ailments. Damage over time, chaos damage over time, chaos damage over time, plus chaos resistance. Yeah. That is 6, what do you use? 66, okay, that was a 10. Damage increase, once again, not able to judge right now, but... Just run the wrong way. Maximum mana. Double physical damage. That should help because. Yeah, that's actually done quite a lot because that goes from 77 to there, 5 to 8 physical, 26 to 39. So that's a nice boost to have for right now. Not something permanent, but a nice boost for right now. Okay, the damage is starting to get there. Maestro, it's getting there. It's getting there. I think. I think there's potential in this. I think there's definitely potential in this. The exit was right there, but like I said, I'm going to take a little bit longer in some areas. I'm going to purposely try and overlevel myself. Oh, 
Not overlever myself on Miles, but just overlever a little bit. I'll take that, take that, move that there. We'll just take a scroll of wisdom. Ah, this chick's gonna talk shit. No, that thing's not gonna get replaced anytime soon. That chest, please, is pretty decent. Okay, let's see how I do against uh, Brutus. Need a moment to catch my Let me embrace you. Let me embrace you. Let me embrace you. Let me embrace you. Okay, I need it. I know that's just how it's well fighting, but it's worked for me. It worked, it was scummy, it was shitty, it was horrible, but I didn't die. That's a nice pair of shoes. Except for the fact that I don't have movement speed on it. <laughs> However, I need to remember one of the things, with your help, of course, the syndicate stuff. I unlocked a lot of recipes, so I might potentially have the means to be able to craft good upgrades now. Something that previously to me was not possible. You can't really see what I'm shooting at, but there's a elite off the screen, so I just want to get rid of that quickly. Elemental, yes, chance to poison, yes, and efficacy I definitely want to use later on. Um, gloves, what's going to be better? Changing that to a blue, blue, green, or we'll change. Mm. Yeah, it might be better to do that one, so let's just accept that. Take care. Let's go stash, let's move this. I want those three on, so I need to just uh, blue, blue, green. That's exactly what I wanted, and then link. So there, 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 and there. Contagion now is better for that. We're looking good. Mana regeneration. I think mana regeneration for me is a lot better. Than the life region. And then for this. See, I can't see how that's not a bad idea, so. Go that one. And then we're gonna come down. The warden's. Uh, 
clarity, precision, flame dash, whirling blades, smoke mine, withering step, unearth, and siphoning trap. Didn't you mention something about siphoning trap? Oh no, those withered totems. Whirling blade is good. Yeah, but this is a, this is a completely different skill. Remember, I let you zoom around the map. Yeah, but remember, I I don't want to. <laughs> let me see what it does first. Um. Farewell. I just want to see what it does first. Just out of interest, like this is what I think it is. Oh, wrong one. Oh, okay, never mind. That's actually pretty good. Oh, how's this? I'm keeping that. However, if I'm going to be using that, there is something I definitely need. So if that's the case, I'm actually going to get rid of Dash. We're going to stick with Whirling Blade. I need clarity. I need that mana regen. Uh, uh, no, it was that one. Get rid of that. And we're going to use that there. I prefer a skill. A movement skill that is based on mana use rather than a cooldown timer. I hate the cooldown timers. And here's the second question. Rolling blades. Fast attacks, multiple trap support, trap summon. Okay, so we don't want any increased critical strike. Accuracy, chance to flee, blind support, mines, devour support, efficacy, mana forged. Nah. Is a COC. Something that's common for whirling blades is a COC tornado setup. Okay. Combustion support, unbound elements. Void manipulation. Don't I have something like War Banner? Some kind of buff. Pick a strike, no. Smoke mine, no. Weather, no. Siphoning trap, no. With withering step. Okay, we've got Sniper's Mock. Cast on Crit Tornado onto it. Okay. I do want Sniper's Mock quickly, so I just want to grab that. And then, I don't think I have Cast on Crit yet, do I? Yeah, but that's something we focus on later on, right? It's not something that we're going to be doing right now. And is cast on crit, is it a um, a recipe that has to be applied to it, or is it a gem? Level 38 requirement, got you. Something like precision could also be nice for when we go to the um, the crit build. Obviously 20% increased critical strike chance. Wouldn't be bad. 
Now, Sniper's Mark, I definitely want to have on Cobra Lash. But I've got Void Manipulation on you. So I'm going to have to start thinking soon that that... I'm going to level it. No, Sniper's Mark is completely separate. I don't need it part. Sorry, I'm being stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Dash, I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use. Let's put this shit away. And then let's sell that and that. Okay, so now we've got Sniper's Mark, meaning we should do more damage. Let's turn that on. Sniper's Mark is more going to be for the big enemies. Contagion is more going to be for the smaller enemies. It's already not looking bad, brother. It lives. Let's see what else it can. So that's contagion. Charity, I want to be careful with, because obviously I don't want to use up most of my mana reservation on that. Single target damage is still lacking a bit, but it's it's looking better. I'm usually the one making the ghosts. Someone's been busy. Okay, so we've already got fake graves here. It's a one. Uh, I want that.
On your side, how's it looking? Maestro? How's it looking, the build? I asked for that. Chaos damage, movement speed, dexterity, increase physical damage. That should be our overall buff to everything. Yes, it has been. Okay. Now I need to think about starting to go down. Potentially. This is life. Clever thief is not bad to have. Take clarity like level 5 and then stop over there. That should be enough clarity for the beginning phases. Let's see how this goes. Spawn. Sniper's mock. Wasn't great. And I need to go all the way back to Fairgraves. Maximum life, 24%. That's going to be an overall increase. And then that. Yep, it's just a flat increase, so sell that.
Not horrible, not great, not amazing, but possibilities. Possibilities. Okay, now I've got to run all the way back to the exit on the other side. Once again, this is going to be a lot slower than a normal run. Still composing that but there's a lot more that I'm trying to figure out. A lot more that I'm trying to understand. So, Reeve, Voltic Burst, Icicle Mine, Lightning Trap, Fire Trap, Vortex Blade, Essence Drain, Volatile Dead, Venom Gaia. Dull Death and Dispel creates Ethereal Blades. Which orbit an area in, around you, dealing damage every 0 6 seconds to enemies in the room. You see, I've always wanted to use this blade to export this blade vortex one. If that's the one I'm thinking of. I just want to grab that. Just have a look. Poisonous concoction. Throws a bottle that explodes to deal unarmed attack and damage area. What? Oh. Consumes charges. Man about. No. Blade trap. No. Spell helix. No. Blazing Salvo. I just want to see what it is, just out of pure interest sake. Withering Siege Ballistum. What's Venom Gaia? Fires returning projectile that can be caught. Caught projectile spiral outwards when you don't know what that is. Winning blades, blast mine, added fire, melee splash. How nice would melee splash supports be? Venom guy is similar to Cobra Lash. Okay, cool. How awesome would it be if melee splash support actually worked with um, uh, Cobra Lash? Could have been pretty cool. God hasn't abandoned us. Okay, question. Where the fuck do we go now? Do we start working on some mana and some life? Or do we instantly start moving over to Clever Thief to start getting some leeching? Because leeching is obviously good. And then we can start making our way down towards dagger element damage. Because obviously we're going to be running with daggers. Because then we've got the chaos damage over time as well. Which would you suggest? Going down towards these nodes first, or going towards the Clever Thief? Okay. What's the difference? Why claws over daggers? Why daggers over claws? If one or the other, why? I think while you're busy typing that, I just want to test this stuff quickly. I haven't chosen anything yet. I just want to see what these look like. So, that is... Oh, so that's the Blazing Salvo. Okay. And this. That's a lot like Cyclone. That's a lot like Cyclone. Why do I really want to use that build right now? Why do I really want to go for that right now? <laughs> okay, make an end mental note. Righteous Fire and Blade Vortex. We need to make a build with those two still. Huh. 
I'm just gonna test it against something, see if it actually does anything. to roll custom mods. So for this build that we are going for, would it be better, specifically we're going to be doing damage over time initially and then switching over to crit by like level 68. Would it be better to be running claws or better to be running daggers? Or is that also one of those things that it's going to be daggers up until level 68 and then we switch over from daggers to claws at level 68. I'm going to wear this amulet to simply make you thinking claws. Life on it is also nice for sustain. Okay, so switching over to claws is something that we want to do instead, so... Is it still then worth it to come down this way to get the chaos damage and the damage over time multipliers? Or do we ignore coming down this way and instead work our way down this way towards the increased attack speed with claws? The, obviously the strength and the intelligence nodes. Or do we rather go clever thief so you're thinking claws is the main way to go We do also have the mastery for the claw up here. Increased damage with hits and ailments. Claw critical strike. Damage and attack speed, damage and attack speed, damage and attack speed. Claws of the magpie. So what I'm thinking is, if we're going to go claws, then we go this way. We go life and energy shield on kill, dexterity, down to life and mana on hit, go down to claw thief, and then obviously back up to there, go across over here, and then go up into the claw damage. And that will be the foreseeable for now. Then we can potentially also use the damage against marked enemies, specifically for that single target damage. Does that sound good? First target, work towards Clever Thief. Second target, work towards Claws on the Magpie. Third target, work towards Mark and Prey. And if that is the case, then I need to go and get some claws. Welcome. Okay, now comes the second problem. Mm, we'll grab that. And we'll grab that. Potentially make them better. Grant seven life per okay, there we go. Seven life per enemy. Six life. Six life. And this has got accuracy rating as well. Yeah, we'll take that instead. I'm just wasting money at this point. Because that's exactly what I need right there. Ridiculous. So, take Whirling Blade, put it over there. Take Sniper's Mark, put it over there. That goes there. 
then I don't need the elemental damage. So I'll take this one and put that over there and take out the blade vortex. No, I'm not going to use blade vortex. So I don't need that. Lightning damage is useless because we're not using any elemental damage. Okay, that's good. Let's sell off this shit. No. Yes, I'm gonna sell that. Blazing silver, I wanna sell as well. Farewell. Except. Let's grab some more bones. Let's grab some more of those. Okay, so I'm gonna do what I said. I'm gonna go first target is clever thief. So gain fifteen life per enemy energy shield per enemy kill. There we go. And then we're gonna work our way down towards clever thief. Then work our way up towards claws of the magpie, and then from marked enemies for that single target damage. Chance to poison on hit could be a next thing. All that is going to have to be respect, though. Okay. That's the targets. That's the way we're going. All of it is guessing at this point. And I just fucked up. Uh, cold resistance, 26%. Am I going to do something stupid and just give me that extra? Don't you have one, Nessa? She normally has one. Oh, this time she doesn't have one. Hmm. Let's do this. I'm just gonna throw some Colts resistance on you. Just anyway, really. Uh, let's take the boots and let's just throw cold resistance. I can't. No more modifiers. Uh, let's just take that. Uh, cold resistance. Cold resistance. I'll just take a level 2 cold resistance. Craft. Oh, for fuck's sake. I fucked up. There's a level requirement for that. I am not paying attention. Oh, you absolute, 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 absolute fucking idiot. Well, you've got the cold resistance. You can't use the item because you are only level 14. Fuck, I'm stupid. What I want to use... modifiers on that just fucking take this cold resistance cold resistance level 12 there we go craft there and i need to go buy another fucking claw i promise i'm not always this stupid okay i lie i'm always this fucking stupid but that was that was stupid stupid still alive are we and i'm probably not gonna get a claw like that again That's some stupid shit, but that was... That was... That was next level stupid. Hundred sixty-four. I've lost so much damage because of that. 7 to 23, 6 to 17. I was at 118, now we're down to 164. Farewell. McCold is up to 42. That is true. Yeah, let's do that. You see, that's the kind of stuff that I don't think of. So we scour that, and then alchemy. And then... No, we don't re-roll random modifiers with that. I'd rather do that. And then do that again. Fire resistance... Yeah, damage isn't bad. It does elemental damage, which is useless, but yeah. Okay. 
fire resistant lightning damage lightning resistance you know what it's got two resistances increased physical damage accuracy rating yeah i'm gonna use that cold resistance is still gonna be more than enough for what i've got and my damage just went up to 211 yeah stupid 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 decisions you see that's the kind of stuff that doesn't that always slips my mind instead of trying to craft certain things i forget to actually just use alchemy orbs on these things and it causes me to make stupid mistakes like that i mean even this is more now 150 that's not bad Resistance evasion. Nope, I can use that. Ooh, maximum charges. Grants me to bleeding for six seconds. I will definitely be using that. Thank you. Grants me to corrupted blood. Yeah, I'll do that. damage is actually starting to get there quite nicely this is not looking bad this is really not looking bad so how many times am I going to die in the fight with Mavell Probably a few times. one that was horrible and I keep running through every single thing that is a fucking water spot
first dance with the lady that felt both uncomfortable but good but mm, it's hard to explain how that one felt 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 physical damage fire damage minor regeneration rate lightning resistance against that's that's a massive upgrade to what i had by four cold resistance this gives me maximum regeneration life and health and lightning resistance i mean that is also a massive upgrade in terms of defenses 12 26 55 if i put this on it becomes 12 42 29 12, 26, 55, 12, 42, 29. I'd rather go with this even. Yeah, the numbers are just 42, 29, 26, 55. Fire resistance is still shit. I'll go with that one for now. Just the extra life and regeneration is going to be good. However, if we use this one, it is 12, 68, 37. Yep, that's better. I'll use that one instead. Then it's got fire damage attacks, which is useless, regeneration, maximum cold, cold and lightning resistance. I'd rather use that ring. Dexterity, don't want it. Lightning ring, don't want it. That goes there, that goes there, and we're good to move on. Well, have a lovely night further, Maestro. Thank you very much for the assistance. I'm going to try and plow through maybe just until the city, and then I'm probably going to call it a night as well. But... Yeah, some potential. Definitely some potential to see what happens with this build. Lightning resistance, stun, back shock, that is cold resistance, lightning resistance, maximum life. Nope, that one's still better. Better. Not great, but better. I am going. I have seen those back. The end of learning. I am a beast. They true. You and the rose. Sell off everything. That should be good enough for now. Pack away all of this shit. Okay. I actually think I'm gonna call it there for an evening. There's been progress made. Obviously there's been some assistance given as well, but there has been progress made. This looks like something that could potentially be viable if the build is done correctly. What it's gonna cost to get that build there is a completely different story. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But the main thing is, can this get us through the acts? We are currently through Act 1. Act 1 is completed. That took us a while, a decent amount of time, but that's because there's a lot of figuring out to do. Act 1 is done, on to Act 2. That will pick up for tomorrow night. Let's see how this goes. But thank you very much for the support that has been shown this evening. I really do appreciate it. And please, help spread the word. Help get this channel growing. It would mean a lot to me. All of my past live streams are posted onto YouTube as well. So go subscribe. Go show some love there as well. But until then, I hope you have a lovely evening and or day further depending on where you are. Be safe and look after yourselves.